Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. Today the sun is shining and it's nice. Um, it's still the beginning of January and uh, well, yeah of course you get the feeling that something good is going to happen but it's not completely there because well I've been looking at the weather forecast and they say that it's gonna freeze maybe in the coming two or three weeks so repotting is not an option yet but what you can do in this season is maybe try to find out what pot you want to use for trees if you want to repot them so that's what I'm gonna do today and maybe let make, let's make it a little more fun and um, ask your opinion about what I could use as a pot so I'm going to um, mount this video a little bit and uh, as you can see I have uh, my privet here some pots and yeah I'm, I'm gonna ask you uh, what you think so uh, I'm gonna work on some pots uh, on the computer to try to make it look as it is so yeah uh, let's do this so first this privet now when you do a job like this you really need to be sure that you're not doing things that are not possible I'm going to need a pot that is at least uh, 18 centimeters more well, 17 will do um, and because I want to plant this tree and add a few more uh, privets that I have luckily I'm going to need at least let me see yeah well I think seven centimeters depth will be necessary. So I have two pots here, uh, seven and a half and uh, eighteen and a half. So that's that's possible. And here we have seventeen and a half and well, it's more going to be seven. Okay, do I have another one? Let me see. Well, I have this monster, which is also seven and a half, but it's way bigger. I have 20 centimeters here, and I think that that's going to be a little bit big, but okay. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to make a virtual now. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, pictures here so here we have the privet in the first pot it is the pot with um, the more rounded edges it's light brown and the proportions are uh, are correct and this is the second one with the more uh, darker brown pot that's option number two and then we have the big old green pot with the leaf decoration on it so that's option number three so in the description I'll, I'll post the different possibilities and then if you want you can just copy paste and, and add what you, uh, what you prefer. So I'm also planning to repot this uh, little uh, forsythia and it can go back in its original pot so that will be uh, option number one. And then I have this blue pot, it's a round pot. Uh, this is a smaller pot, it's uh, light blue and uh, well that's rectangular and then we have this slightly deeper bigger pot which has a a funny uh, shape and that will be uh, our last option so the original pot one two three or four and of course I'm going to make some virtuals so that you can see what it would look like 
So this is the first option, the tree in its original pot. But as you see, um, slightly tilted and uh, also um, an, an another front. And then we have option number two, which is the blue uh, round pot. And then option number three, which is the rectangular light blue. And then the brown pot with the uh, strange shape. So making a plan for your repotting is is a good thing you can do in winter because well you can measure, you can look at the colors, you can plan a whole lot of things which will make you gain some time uh, when repotting season is there. Uh, and when you repot, well not everyone likes it, but I like to apply moss on my trees. Now most of the time uh, moss at the end of the growing season is all over the place. So what I also do is preparing trays with moss. So how do I do this? Well that's fairly simple. I just uh, go uh, on my trees and I have a look at the moss and then the moss that is too big, that is too, I don't know, too whatever. I just pluck it and I do two things with it. If the moss is really in bad shape because it was dried out or something like that, I put it in a bag and I use it afterwards when I make air layers or, or some things like that. Uh, and the moss that looks still quite all right or that looks um, viable, I plant it in undeep trays that I think that I will not use. Now it is good to do that uh, in winter because well moss does not have any roots. Moss just likes light and just likes moisture. So if you do that now and I'll bring you in to have a close look, uh, you will have good and nice and green and healthy moss to put on your trees. So for example on this field maple I still have some plucks of moss that don't look too good um, but it's still healthy so I'm going to take these little pieces and that one uh, looks really nice and green so let's take these. So now I will put them in my tray when I f where I find a little spot to do so, like so, and it doesn't really matter if it is perfectly well placed, but it will start to grow again. Okay, let's find some other moss. So this is my little uh, field maple broom style, and uh, well, I'm not sure how he how he's doing, but yeah, I'll see in spring. And we have a nice pluck of moss here, but as you see, it's quite weak. Uh, it's not really colorful. Well, there are a few good spots, but not a whole lot. So I'll take this one. And in the tray it goes. Just trying to press it somewhere, like so. That looks good. That, the nice thing when you do that is that uh, you are mixing all kinds of moss together, which makes it uh, interesting afterwards. So preparing moss is a nice thing. So like most people I can't wait until the growing season starts again uh, because I want to see nature wake up and see my trees wake up and this is going to be a little bit of a, um, well, how should I say, uh, exciting um, spring because I think that I might have lost a few trees but I'm not sure so uh, yeah. I will see what is alive and what is not. And in the meantime, well, I can uh, do some 
good work by preparing the growing season like choosing pots making moss cleaning pots and stuff like that so i hope you like this uh, video uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so already um, and please make sure to give me your uh, ideas about the pots that I should use for my privet and my facetia. If I see that uh, people like this idea, I might do that for other trees. And uh, yeah, because it's just good fun. So thank you for watching and see you next time.